lot there. I don't think Rafa... I mean, a Rafa final is always everyone loves watching it. But I mean, if you went and dicked everyone <laughs> two days in a row, it'd, oh, be, of course. it'd be a bit boring. But no, I've been impressed. And I'm, today, I'm most interested to see, yeah, Avex Strengths. That's going to be a good matchup for me. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, I can already say for sure, Avex going to toss Hectic. Um, he didn't really practice the map. So that's already out. And then I think, uh, yeah, Strengths will toss ZTN against Avex. Is my is my guess since uh, he's not normally the most comfortable on ZTN. Yeah. So we're gonna see DM13, T7, and Hub. Um, and I mean, actually, Avex Hub play lately has been phenomenal. Um, yeah. Really impressed by it. I mean, yeah. For as far as I can remember, I I don't think he's really lost a Hub game. I know Strengths did beat him yesterday on Hub. Yeah. I mean, track that, but then Strengths is Strengths and can pull out random matches, but. No, I mean, yeah, it, it's going to be a good. But yeah, I mean, uh, and I was surprised too. Uh, Vu told me uh, he lost two one to Sturmy, and I mean, I even if it was close, I expected Sturmy to win two zero, and yeah. to hear that it went into overtime on ZTN, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, ZTN was a nail biter. It came down to one freak plasma play by Sturmy. Basically, Vu had 200-200 and Sturmy landed on him and hit 100%. Yeah, I know, I know what that kind of yeah. <laughs> feels like today, especially. Yeah, so. I mean, that was, it was insane, and that won him the match. I mean, Vu, Vu didn't play the best of games, and he, he made it very close. It was, that was a nail-biter. I mean, that's, that's good for him. He should, he should look at it in a positive light. Obviously, um, if he doesn't pass his group, it'll be, it'll be disappointing uh, since he yeah. didn't do so well in the, um, in the Fnatic Beta Cup. But... Yeah. Uh, I mean, going into the World Finals, as long as he sees improvement, you know, and he improves his game, then I think he should be happy coming to this tournament. If, let's say, he didn't come to this tournament, I think it'd be really bad for him going into the finals because it'd been a long time, you know, in between, you know, yeah. I mean, big tournaments. Yeah, I mean, a professional. He loves coming to Lands. Even if you don't play well, it's always an enjoyable event. I mean, I'm, I'm here for the beat. I've ended up, I've got a new job. <laughs> <laughs> I've moved on They're in my life. You well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Water, what? water, and a, water and a sandwich. If I'm a good boy, they say. But um, yeah, I mean, Vu's a professional. He, he just enjoys being here. He, he, I mean, he, obviously, he's 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 known for a bit of rage. He doesn't. No one likes playing bad. Uh, but it's nice to see him play well against Dummy. I was happy for him because he's a nice guy. And I really want to see a good match between him and Cooler, two two really legends of esports. Yeah, most definitely. Um, yeah, I hope it starts soon. They they've had plenty of warm up in my opinion. It's been over a half hour. You know, so... Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, Cooler is Cooler. He doesn't respect the admins. And Sturmy was <laughs> was moaning a lot earlier about a lot of things uh, with his config and his PC. He goes through all the settings in the PC. I don't know what he changes. I wouldn't really trust it, to be fair. He just changed, like, reg, uh, registry files and stuff. It's, oh, wow. it's, it's dodgy, but... Um, no, i got to make sure I don't use the same one. Yeah. And strength delayed us for five minutes because he couldn't get the right rail colour. But uh, it's, it's all been a bit messed up since the Fnatic final, which is unfortunate because we've run so smoothly the past two days, apart from uh, ID software mess up. But we've got yeah. that out the way, the, uh, but the I inevitable. Mean, thanks to them trying to you know, get it done as soon as possible because I know on Thanksgiving nobody wants to do anything but but have a good time with their family and probably take a mid afternoon nap. <laughs> yeah, so Boo, Boo's already had a two hour nap, <laughs> a power nap. He missed the final for it. He's, uh, I'm sure you're going to get an apology data. No, um, that's okay. Okay, we, I guess we can take some questions from IRC since uh, we've got a couple of minutes to kill. People want to know about 04 and CZM. Are you happy to see them back? Yes. Yeah? Are you, are you friends with them? But, yes, But yes, you're afraid they're going to steal your crown <laughs> Not so much. I, I enjoy the competition, uh, yeah. and I was I was very sad that uh, Zero Four didn't make it to the American Championship. Um, yeah, I because at the time I thought his shape was really good. And granted, the group was the group of death with me, him, Dehang, and uh, Vampire. But but I mean, shoot, anything could have happened. You know, I mean, for all we know, Dehang could have been knocked out, or I could have been. It could have been, you know, crazy. Yeah. But. Well, I mean. Yeah, that would have been a major upset if someone, if you or Dahang went out, because they are great players, but you are, you are the now, you are the modern, you're expected <laughs> to go through. But yeah. I think everyone, it's even good for the uh, the American scene because uh, I think you know as well. The American scene is not as strong as the European. It's a lot harder to get good practice. Oh, it, does, does that does that frustrate you? Are you do you feel 
was, was it good playing in the Moose offices, being able to play different styles of just some of the Euro players, getting some regular practice with with some of the people you're going to play against? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, being in the SK office is always a blessing because um, pretty much any time that I want to, I can be like looking for games and somebody will reply. Um, yeah, it's, if I'm it's looking very for active. specifics, like a specific map, like I want to play this map for a few times, uh, or I want to look for a certain player with this style, I'm going to ask. You know, for and I'm gonna find it. Yeah. In America, it's, it does not work really? like that. Like, you take what you can get. Um, <laughs> but I think it's, it works vice versa because when people see you in in Europe, I think the scene gets excited. Everyone's like, I want to play with Rafa. If you go on a public survey, it'd be full of like that. Oh yeah, definitely. yeah. I mean, I mean, it's always the same. I'm watching you when you were playing on American servers <laughs> before he usually annoying you. But um, <laughs> pe people want to play with you, and and uh, so you'll get any game you want. Yeah, you're I'd like a pimp in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the I, quake pimp. I don't know. I mean, I know, like, uh, the difference with American practice is, like, <laughs> well, for me, definitely the internet feels different. Yeah. Being playing at home compared to playing in Germany. Uh, Germany, it feels really good. I, I, I probably, you probably have good, uh, yeah, Europe especially has very good internet. The UK, not so much. It's probably pretty similar to the States since we are very close relation yeah. countries. I mean, I have okay pings to everywhere since I live in the middle of the country. Just the feel of it most of the time is pretty bad. So even um, playing like top players in America, it can kind of be I don't know, disheartening sometimes because you can't practice and do everything that you need to do. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, like you normally would. I know that's frustrating, but in a way, do you think having a bad ping and not being able to aim as well really helps your mental game? I know you're a very strong mental game, but forces you to use it more. Because I know so, uh, Saifa was speaking to him. Why do you, do you hate playing on that ping? He said no. It kind of it forces me to be to develop a more around game. Yeah, do you reckon I, that's true for you? Or I think it can. Some players in the past have taken that to the extreme, and they've played well, in America, for, for um, to say, uh, and they've played on European servers. And I'm like, that's not happening. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's there, I played to, on a York server yeah. with 90 ping. It's not worth it. To, to me, that's that's not worth it. Um, but yeah, playing with 80, 90 ping sometimes, um, or with a connection that's not so great. Um, could be really nice. The only problem is, is if you're that guy, and the other guy's connection feels amazing, and he just comes in and devastates you. Yeah, I, I admit that's probably more frustrating than anything else. If when it's more, you're if only it's more losing, even, then I, then it's really nice. Yeah, um, it's definitely a different experience because you both aren't going to hit, you know, most of the amazing shots that you can, but that kind of balances it out. Yeah, it makes it more about but then, your flow of the map and the mental game. Yeah. But then uh, you might be doing stuff in a normal match that doesn't pay off because they do hit their shots. Or has Definitely. that ever happened that you like? Well, normally I get away with that. Well, oh well. Speaking of that, like when I play online, there are definitely sometimes where I see mistakes and I'm like, okay, I could punish this guy right now because it's the internet, you know. Like the LG won't be as strong, or I can rush in and he's not gonna be able to hit rockets or something. But I was like, what's the point of that? If you start creating bad habits like that, like you said, yeah. you come to land play, what's gonna happen then, you know? Yeah. So for me, there's sometimes where I'll let an enemy go just because I know yeah. on land they wouldn't work. Yeah. I mean, for someone like me who hasn't got as much experience, um, I've probably got a lot of bad habits, bad habits that I need to get rid of if I want to progress. And talking about progressing, do you think you stepped up a level? I mean, well, I stepped, I stepped it up for the final today. The, yeah, I'm talking about the final Definitely. because uh, the, what I saw in an interview you saying you saw, so you think Cypher stepped up, but your play today in the final was possibly the, the most all-round quite game I've seen you play, and that's that's well, thanks. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's amazing. I don't know. Um, I actually noticed it's really strange uh, playing on the network over there and the other uh, what is it the D Hall or something like that. Yeah. Um, I actually felt amazing. Really? Like, was it different yes. to... Yeah, like here there's some like weird little lag. Like I, 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 I kind of felt that as well. It was weird. That's why probably my LG was popping. You don't think like it was the 30 plus percent Oh, man, game, you were out aiming Cypher sometimes. It was, it was unexpected from the Rafa we know. Yeah, I know. And once that comes together... Oh, oh yeah, the complete package. Yeah, anyway, but... we are going to go live with Kulavu and we have the maps. DM13, ZTN, Aerowalk. Pretty... Yeah, they're pretty much as old school as you can go with, with as Quake gets it. And, oh, sorry, I've just been told Guard and Sturmy are also about to start with the maps Aerowalk T7 DM13. That will be on TV2. So if you fancy seeing some of that, you can tune in. But we are going to stick with Kulavu since uh, we love them, basically. 
<laughs> yeah, I right here I expect Cooler to play like Cooler. Um, try to control the map as best as possible. Um, when he's when he's down, try to get it back as quick as possible by being aggressive. Um, as far as Vu is concerned, he'll probably try to play a little slow and uh, use rockets a lot. And you might see him take this back YA and run the shards for a bit. Um, he seems to do a really good job of doing that to play defensive. Um, and then he'll move in on Mega when he can. It'll be interesting to see if he can uh, read Cooler. Because um, I'm not sure how many times they've played. If I remember correctly, they've played one time, and that was in Quake 3. And that was ESWC 2008. So it's been a long time. Yeah. So when you haven't played a player like him in such a long time, it's it's always a little unsettling when you're in the game because uh, it's just unexpected. You haven't played that kind of style in a long time. Yeah. No, that's true. I mean, but cool is a kind of player who's not gonna not gonna be phased by a different style. He'll heal adapt very easily, I imagine. Yeah, for the most part. And I think most of that comes from uh, he tends to play the map more than the player. Yeah. It has its disadvantages, but also its advantages. It's a very good base game. Like you said. So. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting because uh, Vu loves to take fights and uh, he plays very good when, he, when he's in control and he can get into your face. One thing that might be an advantage for Vu is his dodging style from, <laughs> from playing Painkiller and CPM is so different. Uh, sometimes he does little bunny hops and other stuff like that, like really weird dodging patterns, which actually might uh, offset Cooler a little bit. So Possibly, yeah. Yeah, that'll be one thing to look out for during the match. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, Cool is someone who who does moan about other people's movements when he can't hit them, so it'll be good to see. <laughs> Apparently, Boo's got packet lots, so we might have a, a bit of a problem going on here. See, I told you something was up. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I don't think anyone really checks a lagger move to it, they just accept it. But... Um, Someone probably going to go have a look at the computer, so we might be a minute or two. said he's got packet loss as well so it seems LAN isn't as good as it's meant to be but uh, um, yeah we're ready sorry you need some help typing in <laughs> yeah we're ready to go I think they are too DM13 getting underway now. Oh, no, <laughs> Vu's not happy. Apparently not. No, he's getting up from his PC. I'm not sure really what's going on. We'll let you know when we know more. Um, he looked like he had itchy ears. He's having a bit of a problem with his headset or something. I'm not too sure what's going on, but uh, he looks ready now, so... We should be getting away the M13 take two. Yeah, I'd rather him take his time and make sure he's... Yeah, yeah. want to see a good game. Uh, great spawn for Cooler. It'll be interesting to see if Vu can get out to the rockets quick enough. Yeah, Maybe he can trap him here at the top. Cooler's already eliminated that option. Did a great job of getting around him. Yeah, I think Cooler knew that. <laughs> oh, Kula, no, bad mistake from Vu going out when uh, Cooler had the distance with the lightning gun there. Yeah, definitely. That was a very bad positional attack. I think we'll see Cooler really, really run the yellows now once he gets this mega. He'll want, he'll want to pressure Vu. Yeah, and I like what he's doing here. He's not grabbing the Mega yet because he knows there's no chance for Vu to get it. Yep. So, A, Vu won't, Vu won't even know what the timing is. Uh, and he denied the other yellow, and right here he'll pick up the red. He's going to go straight over to the other yellow. Oh, instead yeah. oh, wow. he goes aggressive. And 
pays off. Taking a lot of damage, but it's not going to matter because red is up and then yellow's back straight afterwards. So, uh, Kula's, yeah, complete map control at the minute. Looks like he's even grabbed the other yellow if he knows where if he knew where he was, but a bit more. Yeah, Vu playing extremely slow. Yeah, I think he's learned his lesson quite early on that Kula's going to try and pressure him. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I think right now it's better for him to, at this point, try to keep the score as low as possible. Um, That's the main thing. Kula's got very, very big dominance in the minute. So if Vu gives up too many frags, he might not be coming back. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, but right here, even though Cooler took a lot of damage from the shotgun, uh, him being able to fall back on the yellow, take the shards, has really helped him out here. Um, it's very good timing on the damage because now he'll pick up red and he can open up his game some more because there's time in between Mega and Yellow, so... Yeah, Coolis, Coolis sitting very comfortably here. Oh, Vu was very early for the Mega. He's stuck now. Ouch, yeah. I think this is going to be another fight for Cooler. Yeah, I think, if, yeah, that offsetting of the Mega really put Vu off, I think. You were right. Definitely. He almost had it, but... Yeah, he didn't have the exact time. time. There was no point sticking around. And Vu manages to get 150 armor here, so um, well, if I were cooler, what I would do is lock down the rockets, because... Yeah, and that's, that's exactly what he's going to do. There we go. Wow, right position. Punish. <laughs> yeah, that. Vu ate every rocket there. Nice. I think he'll just try and secure the Mega here. No, he'll go out. He knows Vu has nothing. Oh, beautiful rockets. Yeah. I can't believe that just said. Nice. Move there back on the board. There we go with that dodging, that little hop. Helped yeah. him get over the ledge and get him a nice rocket angle. CPM movement, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think Cooler's uh -oh. too worried. Man, Cooler really could have been punished <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, he was lucky he was just where he was. Just a, little, a fraction later, he probably would end in the lava. I don't think Vu saw him on the bottom. Nope. Risky move coming down. It's going to pay off. Yeah, very very nice. good. And Mega's up. If Cooler gets the shotgun spawn, he'd be very lucky. And ah, he does. Yeah. Oh, snap. Always the way. <laughs> Always happens. That is so unfortunate for Vu. He could have had a nice nice stat. Right? But, but here, it, he's got the LG. So he Cooler push wants this that yellow. Yeah. So yeah, how unfortunate the kill was. Oh. Um, he's still got a nice in. Well, he had a nice in until uh, Cooler swept in and he's about to take this RA. But the thing is, Vu needs to try to force Cooler to go out in the middle, uh, fight with LG, because Cooler doesn't have one. Um, yeah, he needs to try and get Cooler off guard in the air, air in the middle. But, uh, oh, that's, that's, like that. Yeah, know. that's risky from Cooler. I don't know. <laughs> it worked out nicely in the end. Great rocket. Now I know why he did it, because uh, he knew based on Vu's positioning in the previous fights, he hadn't picked up enough LG ammo. So he knew, like, he maybe had 30 left. So even after RJing up, he was going <laughs> to run out. You know, so actually, it was extremely smart of him uh, to get up there and push for the advantage, even though he only had shotgun and rockets uh, yeah. to work with. Well, that's, some, uh, that's a lot of thinking, really. Cooler's <laughs> cool uh, flaming Vu. He said, nice one when Vu blew himself up. Or it might have been to the move, I'm not sure. Ooh, so close to being a huge mistake. But once again, Vu has found his way back into the stack, so... Uh, yeah, but Kula is running the, uh, running the yellow as well. He's going to get a top 150 armor. Which, that, that, he can work with that. He can really pressure the next item. Uh, that, 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 that rocket's going to set Kula back. Now Vu's going to lose the Mega. Nice. Uh, oh. <laughs> nearly, nearly, nearly went in. Yeah, Kula's playing very risky, but it's working at the minute. But it's when it doesn't work is when he gets angry. Definitely. Um, that rocket by Vu was amazing. I can't believe he came in at that speed and hit it. Um, which has allowed him to get the, the both yellows, and if he works in fast enough, punish Cooler at this red. This could be the turning point that he needs with less than half the time left. Catches oh, him with LG. Yeah. That was good by Cooler. He really 
Where he's put his ground. Do you think a, a full frag leap for Cooler is going to be enough right now? Or can you see Vu coming back? I think I think it'll be enough. Yeah. Especially with this red armor coming up here. Yeah, Vu can't have a challenge for that. Just as long as Cooler doesn't have some amazing blunder and miss like every rocket in some fight or something. He should be fine. That's that's not been unusual in today's game. <laughs> We've seen some random yeah. stuff. But uh, no, you're right. Besides the complete randomness, wow. It should be a cool Great victory. rockets and damage by both players. Yeah, Cooler's come off a lot worse though. You really, really can't do anything for the next minute. If who happens to RJ up? Yeah. He doesn't. He needs to trap Cooler in the side of the map. That's the interesting thing. Just sometimes you don't know the timing of the item, and you're not able to take that aggressive move. That's yeah. how important timing really is, and it shows again right there as he's standing on it with three health. Really surprised at wow. that move right there. From uh, Vu. Well, from Cooler, actually, uh, for dropping down like that. I thought I thought Vu fell off. I, uh, I don't know if Cooler did. It sounded like he flew a long way, but... Cooler doesn't seem very happy with something, but he never is. Strange meetup right there. <laughs> but it's, it's given Vu the advantage. Yep. He can get on this red and then the mega, but he's trying to chase... Cooler all set up for the mega, it's not clear. Anyway, Cooler's still in the way of the red, and he'll probably go back up to the yellow. But a blunder. Yeah. See if Vu can trap him. Nice exit. Yeah, very Took nice. Damage. It's a nice move that people have been using lately. It gives that just enough hesitation and mouse movement from the yeah. player sitting up top. Um, you have to check, really. Oh, <laughs> definitely, yeah, because if you don't, they end up appearing right next to you. Well, that, that was a full rocket, which means Vu can't press now. Quilly's going to get another free red. He wants to make a surprise. Yeah. Nice prediction by Quilly. Uh Vu's kept this close, though. I mean, Quilly's played well. It's not like uh, he's been slacking. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's just like the few the few times that Boo needs to take a, a risk by um, putting himself in an odd situation as far as like positioning the trap cooler. Uh, he hasn't been able to find those uh, opportunities to do it, and um, yeah, I think that's been the difference. Otherwise, Cooler's played extremely solid aim wise. Yeah. <laughs> Except right now, we'll see what down. happens. Yeah. Well, one minute left, three frags. It's possible, but. It'll be hard for Vu to really catch Cooler right now. Yeah, Cooler, to be honest, can waste time, and he could have stayed in that room. Probably knocked off about 15 seconds worth. Yeah, but um, right now Vu doesn't really know. He, yeah, he heard the jump hand. So. Oh, strange RJ has allowed him to take a lot less damage than normal, but oh my god, he took so wow. much. So much more than I even thought. Um, the plasma, yeah, that plasma was good. He really, really did a lot. Set Vu back. And let's see if we switch over to Kula. Yeah, he, he's just that's a, that's a good position, really. I've never really, I'm not seen that very often. It was seen, it was seen more often on the old DM13, uh, okay. based on where the teleporter was in the other room. You know. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I guess so. Uh, that'll be game, yeah. right there. Yeah. What? Vu's not even going to get a Constellation Frag to make it 4-3. But no, yeah. well played by Vu. 4-2 against Cooler on DM13. His pick, I presume, I'm not too sure, but possibly his pick. Um, respectable. Yeah, what's the next map again? Hey, I, 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 I think it's T7 or ZTN. I think it's T7. I'm not entirely okay, sure. Okay, well, I actually, I don't know. We'll see what they vote anyway. If Vu picked that, I'll be really surprised. Uh, he normally limbs T7, actually. Yeah. Cool. So, so it might be error. Arrow or Zetian? Yeah, Zetian. Okay. Again, I think Vu needs to create some fights um, where he can utilize that odd dodging. Like, you saw it work a few times, but. Yeah, I guess enough. so. 
but it's uh, it's quite hard when you don't have any uh, health or armor to really use that kind of aggressive dodging technique. Yeah. Anyway, a pretty normal start. No one's done anything un unorthodox yet. Through getting the uh, mega in the rail. Gonna go back See up. See if he stayed more, up there. Yeah. But Kula lets him um, nearly hit the rail. Full just spin needs here. Very aggressive by Vu, but I don't think yeah, he, he doesn't want to push in. Yeah, smart move to back off. He would have taken a lot of damage and not even got the Mega more unlikely, so. Let's say. Nice rail. I don't know what to call it up with Cool Lad. <laughs> he likes chatting this much. Nice rocket as well, that was a... Uh, yeah, it made the RA almost worthless. But the thing is, he took it away from Vu, so... Yeah. And that's the plus side to it. But, uh, yeah, Vu, Vu's fine. I mean, he can, he can defend himself. What Cooler should have done there... Actually, um, because Vu, his tactic has been, and I guess other players as well, is to spam a ton of nades at the Mega to try to delay things. Yeah. Um, when Cooler realized that Vu left, he should have delayed the Mega even longer so that the next time he could maybe set up a trap like creeping up through shards and then sneak up on him at Grenade Launcher. Yeah, okay. Like that. But I don't know if he left himself enough time to do so. Uh, do you not think after the first push from Vu, he was spamming nades and push down, Quilla might just wanted to take the Mega without risk. I mean, maybe. Yeah, the, fir the first Mega because in general yeah. was, was fine. I, I thought Cooler would push for it anyway with his stack and position, so... Um, but I suppose uh, he might not know Vu as well as you do either, so... Could be true. Anyway, nil-nil. Vu's kept it well, not having anything to play with at the minute. Nice dodging to get away without taking yeah, virtually definitely. any damage there. It'll be tricky though. I mean, Kula's about to grab red, and it's going to be a little while before either of the yellows. Yeah, I think uh, Kula's, Kula's worth playing this match well now. He's taken virtually all ma major items for the entire match. But still, it hasn't brought him anything yet, and Fu's no. still got a decent stack, so he's playing fairly well. Yeah, he did this against Dermy as well. He played really well. He was he managed to keep the score level for about six minutes, I think, until uh, he got the unfortunate plasma fry. Yeah, but Kula's even denying his yellow. Vu's got the very list to play with. We can quickly look at Nah, uh, we'll wait until this mega to see what Vu does. I always seem to switch pop when something really exciting happens. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's see. No, that's an big fight. Right. Yeah, amazing. I mean, they had to be. Vu was like at 100 health and 170 armor, so. Yeah, but Vu hit Night nice Rockets as well. Cooler was 200, 200. Oh, uh, wow. Right now, Cooler is about to run the Ring of Death. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, uh, yeah, the cycle of that. Yep. Yeah, Vu's not going to have anything to work with for a while, I reckon bit more aggressive there. Yep, and a very nice move he dropped to Mega because he knows that Vu can't get the red. Yeah, nothing to work with. Really. But a nice counter rail. If he hit that second, it would have been very nice. Would have kept Cooler away. Oh, you know what he was trying to do there? Yeah, the double RJ. Yeah. He's seen a lot of missed rocket jumps from a lot of people, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but it's definitely frustrating when it happens. Yeah, you missed a very crucial one in your ZCM yeah. against the Hang. Yes, I did, and it felt perfect, but <laughs> apparently not. Yeah, it must be the packet loss. <laughs> I guess so. I, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, Cooler two 0 very comfortable. Doesn't really need to do much at the minute. Just keeping the Hang at bay. I don't think the Hang's had a mega. Yeah, well, the Hang's not playing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, you're Vu. I don't That's think Vu's fine. had a Mega. 
I, I think it's definitely set its own for this game too. Cooler's had that. That's been the advantage. Wow, the lovely rail. I'm surprised he's still here. I yeah, can't but, believe I mean, it. That was very aggressive, but it worked out great. He hit, I think, two, maybe three rails there. Now Cooler's on the back foot. Sure doesn't look like it though. Oh, <laughs> like, he doesn't care. Oh, easy. The hand's gonna be on 200, 200 now. Yep. Yeah, Vu definitely needs to find a way to push in. I apologize. I don't really know who's playing anymore. Vu is comfortable. I think Vu has about another, let's say, 30 seconds to try and push in and do some good damage. Otherwise, I think Cooler will get in a nice position to... Um, Keep him at bay and be able to collect some arm, like yellow armor and shards and even it out again. Here's his chance. Yeah. But oh, he's wow. No, it. he should have taken that. Vu, he's still sitting all right, but that really should have been a frag. But the dodging of Cooler once again bails yeah. him out. So amazing sometimes. And he's stolen the red. That's not good for Vu. He didn't do any damage to that red. Nope. So now I reckon they're pretty, probably on even stacks, which is probably gonna it's gonna favor Cooler. Yeah, Cooler just picked up a yellow as well, so Yeah, and Vu and if, if like let's say Cooler does a lot of damage here, and Vu has to retreat to that back there, he'll have no idea. That was super aggressive by Cooler. And he took a lot of damage. See if Vu can get in yeah. get there in time. Cooler's not gonna really challenge for this. Well, even though he grabbed the red, it's all gone. Yeah, that was nice, nice play for Cooler to stick around. Yeah. He shouldn't get this mega, but he looks like he's going to go for it anyway. Wow. Oh, that was uh, interesting by Cooler. Oh, I thought he would have been there. <laughs> oh, that was... Rude did not expect him to come from behind there. That, yeah, that move by Cooler there was a little Cypher-esque, if you ask me. Yeah. Like, beautiful job just knowing that... Uh, that Vu wouldn't expect him to come from behind at yeah. that angle like that, and then and it really hit that shot. It stopped Vu from going to do anything for the red, so three red just because of that one move. Nevertheless, Cooler, a lot of armor, but not a lot of health, leaving Vu with the mega. Well, Vu's got to make this push soon. Yeah, he's leaving it very late, and he's taking a lot of damage. That 50's not going to be up for a while. Cooler just took it. Yeah, the hang's going to have to... Oh. Vu's going to have to <laughs> sit around, around here for See, a long time. he feels your pain with all that. <laughs> um, I think he might be having some mouse trouble with the way that he's moving it around. Uh, something might not feel right. Yeah, possibly. He m I'm not sure what he's not happy with since... But uh, he, he, he normally has a lot of problems with his config and everything. He had his time yesterday as well, so... I'm sure he'll fix it afterwards. Yeah. I mean, there are two minutes left. Yeah, I really can't see Vu pulling this back. Me either. I mean, Kula's sat so easily throughout the whole match, even when he was out of control. And look at that. Vu can't do anything. He didn't do any damage. Yeah, that is a good game and well played by Kula. A low score in ZTN, but nevertheless, Vu really was never in it for me. Uh, well, the key, the key moment when he was was Cooler's amazing dodging at the end. Oh my god. <laughs> um, if it wasn't for that, we would never know. We may see three like three to two right now for Vu, but uh yeah, four no, these these frags don't mean anything. Vu's just cutting, but Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so Vu will probably be out of the tournament now. Buying some yeah. miracle. Um, Unless somehow the guards losing to Sturmy. Uh, yeah, guards losing to Sturmy. So I, I think that pretty much seals the deal, unless... Yeah, yeah. so now so now Cooler and Sturmy will just be fighting for who That's gets first place. Yeah. And they, they, who do they play then? The, oh, it's the Dehang group, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, so Dehang does have something to do with this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Secretly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just uh, five steps ahead of the bracket, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> but uh
Yeah, that wraps it up. Really good job by Cooler with Matt. Yeah, I was impressed by that. Never looked like slipping. Do you think Cooler's stepping up from yesterday? Since uh, he uh, he wasn't very happy about losing to Strengths. But then again, Strengths is playing well. And you can't really say that uh, Cooler played particularly badly. Even against Cypher, um, a lot of people feel he should have won. Well... Uh, I didn't get to see the game against Cypher that he got to play, uh, but definitely against Strengths. Strengths played really, really good, and it just came to down, down to a few key moments where Strengths just played better or pulled off some amazing move. Are you surprised that Strengths has brought his game up? No? Do you really do you think he had it in him the whole time? Well, yeah, but uh, yes, going into yesterday, I thought he would do really well because... Um, I said this on a couple of interviews now since since yesterday uh, that his mental attitude has changed, the way he's like composing himself, okay. um, believing in himself too. Uh, yeah, it's changed, and I was like, you know, looking man, it's the confidence of you know stepping up and not to belittle him, but being a man, yeah. and but also being humble at the same time about it, which really impressed me. And I was like, you know, I really think he's going to get top four, and sure enough. Yeah. He got in the top four. He says he doesn't respect his opponents in so much that he will always challenge them. When uh, we saw Faz, for example, not pushing in on a Vec, he showed way too much uh, respect, free frags, and just not taking them. Do you think that's added to his game? Because now he can really use his aim to his best effect whilst being uh, just, just having a more tactical game. Possibly. Um, sometimes this respect thing, though, it's not respect. It's actually nerves. Like, okay. at the, during matches, you're you're pretty nervous, and you don't. You're like not sure. Oh, well, should I take this fight? You know, like what could happen? Yeah. Sometimes it all just happens too fast, <laughs> and you're like, well, it's better not to push in. You know, this this and this could happen. Okay. But definitely seeing like how he's played, like he's been pushing at the right times. I think uh, a lot more often. He's taken the advice when to be aggressive and when to not be aggressive. So. Yeah. You know, it's been turning out well for him. Yeah, I guess so. Are you going to stay on the stream, or do you want to go I can stay on for maybe another game. Yeah. Something like that. Um, that's fine. I mean, I'm sure people love listening to you. And uh, it's good to hear someone who knows what they're talking about, talking about Quake. No, than... I hear you've been doing a good job yourself, so. I, I, I don't really know. I've just stepped in because <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing else to do. And uh, that means the viewers are just stuck with me, like me or not. But, yeah, it's okay. It's all good. Let's see who we got next then. Any good matches? Avex Strengths, is it? Oh, that's tough. Who should be? Yeah, uh, we're be playing at a different time. We are definitely, definitely covering that. Okay. Well, um, anyway, Star Guard and Sturmy, who are on the other stream, Guard is losing 11-1. 12 1 on T7 with uh, three minutes to go, and I believe he lost oh, the wow. first map. Yeah, Sturmy looks like he's, he's upped his game from Vu's match. And, uh, and Faz and Christ are going to play in a minute. Okay, Faz versus Chrysler will be on now on TV2 after Sturmy versus Guard. And then we're just waiting on Avec versus Strengths because Avec has probably gone for a smoke or something since. Yeah, Cool is not here as well. They've gone for a smoke. So when Avec gets back, bang on nine, we should be up with uh, Strengths versus Avec. Thank <laughs> you. 